just want to start. I've had a rough week. Practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. I'm simply going to harvest your organs. <laughs> you need to go home. You come from a world of rules, of laws. You should not be alone. I want to start with you, Kyle, because I, I feel like maybe it's my love of Twin Peaks and Blue Velvet, but I really associate you with characters who are kind of the naive hero who is brought down the rabbit hole. Mm. But Hank here has got some secrets. Mm. So how does it feel, I guess, <laughs> being able to play the rabbit hole this time? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally they've given me this chance. It was truly one of the things that attracted me to Hank. I think um, I'm comfortable playing characters that do carry secrets, but maybe characters that aren't quite as proactive as Hank. Things happen to them and they respond. In Hank's situation, uh, there's more going on than meets the eye and I think we hint at that in the beginning uh, during the sequence where there's there, the whole place is in a riot, the giant fight sequence that happens without going into too much detail, but most importantly you see him kind of responding in a way that seems, not that he's necessarily comfortable with, with it, but that he's really uh, at ease and he is he knows how to handle himself in those situations. Mm -hmm. And more importantly is that he, Lucy, his daughter, sees him in that state. And that sets off a whole chain of questions in her mind that then, of course, continue as the series progresses. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. Bolton, uh with the goal. So I, I've played the games and my experience of it is always that you're, you're asked to join a faction and the more that you talk to people you sort of realise that it's actually a cult. Everyone's just in some sort of cult and there's this idea that like the end of the world has just really increased the fervency of people's beliefs. But I feel like the ghoul, he's sort of the exception. And I wanted to ask sort of how he, I guess how he views his place in the world. Huh, wow, that's a that's a that's, that's a really gotcha. good, a really good question. That's a good question. Yeah, how did, how does he view his place in the world? Yeah, well, it's, it's you know, it's, I guess, on a, on a, in a baseline way, uh, he's a, it's one of survival, right? I mean, unfortunately, it's a theology of kill or be killed. Uh, there's a reason. I, the thing that I keep coming back to is, I read it for the first time, is why? Why is he still alive? Why, you know, after seeing everything that he's seen, you know, f for 200 years, understanding everything that he lost when those bombs were, were dropped, in some ways he's seeing it for all of humanity. I mean, it is through his experience, through his eyes, that you see the ending of the world. So he is experiencing it for the audience, but for humanity. It's just through his perspective that you, that you see it the horrific nature of that moment. I didn't anticipate what, how visceral that was going to be for, for me. I thought I read it on the page and thought, oh, well, it's, yeah, and then, then that happens. There is a, there is a reason uh, that he's still alive in spite, um, you know, this almost insurmountable struggle, uh, daily struggle to survive. And, 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 I, and I suppose he doesn't ask that existential question. Do you know what I mean? People that, that don't have the luxury uh, because you're just working, struggling paycheck to paycheck or whatever that is, it's, it's, you, you don't get the opportunity to have that conversation with yourself. So he's just putting one foot in front of the other, daily trying to survive, mm -hmm. but there is a reason behind it. Knight Titus of the Brotherhood of Steel, stand down or be cut down. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I wanted to ask just about if the entry into this world. Did you guys have a, like a boot camp just to learn some of the lingo, or even to, I don't know, tra train yourself up in the? Because it's such a unique universe that I'm, I'm kind of interested what your entry point was. Crash course. Um, I actually just referred to the blueprint, which is the script, and to the creators. So Jonah Nolan, our, our fearless leader, wonderful fearless leader, uh, and the, our writers. So I, I really went to them uh, to ask all my questions, and also the, the script 
uh, to really uh, understand the journey. I knew that the world existed, I knew we were going to be in this world, and I thought, okay, but what I really need to know is the, the whys, the wheres, you know, tell me about this character, tell me about what, what, what's happening, um, more than I can just pull off the page, and they're very helpful. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I think every, every movie that, that I've been a part of, and I'm, and I'm sure Kyle feels the same way, they're their own unique world, right? Uh, this is no different. It, it just happens to be the, a beloved game by hundreds of millions of people. No pressure. No pressure. Uh, no, it's, it, it was all, it was all uh, inherent in the scripts themselves. It was like, wow, the tonality is there. Yeah, and, uh, and we knew that there were going to be enough people create that, that have created this show that would have the protection of the game itself uh, in, the, in the back and the forefront of their, their mind. And so for us, pe people that hadn't been exposed to the game, we just brought you know, an, an element of questioning the validity of these stories. Do they hold water? And uh, we're not just in service of the fans of this game, and I think that's in, that's important with, you know, uh, doing a movie about uh, you know a fam like a book, a you know, beloved book, what, whatever whatever that is, you know, you, you need someone to, to to question these things that it, that that aren't just beholden to uh, the mythology of, of this show, and uh, and that's kind of what a lot of us as the actors did and how we kind of participated in it. Well, as someone who loves the games, like you guys nailed it. So right on. pressure Thank off. Thank you. That means a lot. <laughs>